What's up, guys? It's DJ. Today, we got some new mods, and we got a Unimog mod announcement for Slucius Modding. Ooh, let's check it out. No update to the testing list, at least when I'm recording this video. However, 36 new and updated mods were released on the in-game mod hub pretty early today as well. I've already made a video showing these off, so make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it. Jumping over to modern news. After the release of his Lieber Crane last week, Ross and Mods is looking for ideas or things that you think need to be changed or added to his mod. Currently, he's looking into some more features as well as counterweights i'm not sure how you guys were able to make it too heavy but hey there you go if you want to get in on the action make sure you drop by ross and mods page on facebook and let them know what you'd like to see next up sluice's modding dropped the first renders of their new mod the mercedes lizard u411 unimog looks like we're gonna have a few different customization options including different beds and a cover for the cabin in addition to a winch and what looks to be a three-point attacher on the front PC players have had access to a Unimog mod for a while now, with them being very popular in real life, now is the time for console players to finally get their hands on one as well. The mod is still being worked on, but Solution's modding works fast, so I would expect to see this in-game in the next week or so, and then maybe a submission for testing within the next two weeks? It's just a guess. Moving on, Agritono's got some more screenshots of their KTM 350 EXC-F, and says that they're adjusting some of the stickers on the mod currently. First time we got to see this was back at the end of February, about a month ago. Since then, it's gotten a lot of work done and it's looking really good. But we'll say this though, to my knowledge, KC, KTM is not a licensed brand for Farms of 22. So we may see a modified uh, version of this on all platforms. Fingers crossed. Agritono is no stranger to off-road and non-farming related vehicles on ModHub, and I'm pretty sure everything they've done right now is for all platforms. So. Don't expect a deviation from that here. Next, Kazarius Modding shows off their Magdon in-game for the first time and says that it has entered the scripting phase with a few more things to fix on the model before it's 100% ready. This is another brand that I'm not quite sure what to expect when it comes to getting it on all platforms. Kazarius does say that the mod is for consoles and PC, so fingers crossed there. Regardless, it is looking really nice. It will be great to see more mods from Kazarius Modding on ModHub. The last mod they submitted was an update to the Case IH Magnum AI back in December, so not too long ago, but just long enough to miss them. Everything they've done on ModHub is rated 4.6 or higher, which is just insane. This should be a hint at what to expect from MacDon as well. Next, Mr. Hector Mods has continued to release growth stages for their upcoming Carpathian Countryside Update 1.1 with soybeans and sunflowers being added to the list of wheat, barley, and canola that we showed off on Monday. In the videos, you can see the difference between the base game and the map update, allowing for more differences in growth, as well as harvested states. A lot of work is going into this next update, and you can find out more via the Mr. Hector Facebook page. And lastly today, Bullet Bill is back for the first time since early February to share the progress of their Herefordshire map. They have finished the caravan and camping site area with new models made on the map to make it feel more alive. He's still working on possible productions to use on this area as well as maybe an earned income, but would definitely be utilizing this for some sort of income. He's already redone the entire riverbed areas on the map and utilized the flow map feature for the river itself to give it more realism. Bullet Bill has been away for a few weeks due to illness, but great to have him back. And I can't wait to be back next week for more Farm Some News. No FSN this Friday as I'll be at a gaming convention in Boston, but I will be back next week with more. And as always, just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can't find this on the farmsomenews.com because, well, Joe's Modding's currently flying to Boston too, so he can't do it. Rep. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mods going to be released, except for a bunch of case mods next Friday. And if I didn't talk about something you want to know about today, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on all the top stories that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, enjoy the Gohan fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way, you never miss videos like this one. All being said, just have a great day. We will see you later. Hey. All right, my flight leaves in three hours, and it's going to take me an hour to get to the airport, which means I should probably leave now.